one of the more common questions that I'm asked um, by patients is, especially if the patient has a localized tumor that's only in one place, is why do I need systemic therapy? Why do I have to go through chemotherapy? Why can't a surgeon just remove this and that be the end of it? And we know that, that's, that for high-grade tumors, that's not adequate treatment because in the days before we had effective chemotherapy, surgery was the only approach that was taken. And even if a patient had a tumor in an in a arm or a leg and the surgeon did an amputation, so clearly took all of the tumor away with lots of normal tissue around it, 80% of patients with osteosarcoma and Ewing sarcoma, for example, would ultimately relapse in their lungs and die. And that's, was, that's been taken as evidence that the tumor cells have already spread to the lungs at the time of diagnosis, even if we can't find them. And so for that reason, patients with tumors like that need systemic chemotherapy, even if the surgeon can take the tumor away to prevent those cells that have spread to the lungs from growing and causing problems.